Carol, you're like appearing in all of my videos. <laughs> Oh yeah, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am in the largest open air museum in the world, in Yuqing, which is about an hour's drive outside of Belo Horizonte. In today's video, I'm gonna give you some information about how to get here, how much things cost, and what you can do here. It's such a beautiful place. Unfortunately, I forgot the connection for my microphone, so a lot of it's gonna be voiceover, uh, but it's still a beautiful place, and I hope you uh, can get some useful information for when you come to Minas Gerais and in Yuqing. As always, if you're new here, I just want to let you know that I make videos about my life here in South America. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so you don't miss any of my new videos. So there's two types of tickets that you can buy and you can buy them online or you can buy them when you get here. So it's good to know that Inuchim is quite big, it's over 140 hectares and there's different sections. We have yellow, we have orange and we have pink. The green ticket is walking only and then if you get the purple ticket, uh, that is walking plus the, the little bus or the little shuttle that goes around Inuchim. It's an extra 30 hay ice, which is, I'll put the, the dollar price down here. Um, but I totally think it's worth it because as I said 140 hectares quite big and there's a lot to see and like the the exhibitions are quite spread out So yeah, it's nice to walk But also it's nice to have the opportunity and the the privilege of taking a bus <laughs> So this is the golf buggy that I was talking about that you can get on. Uh, it fits five people uh, and they go up and down to different places. Going back to what I said earlier about buying your tickets online or buying it at the gate, I would definitely recommend buying it online at this time because I've just read in the little updated uh, version that because of COVID they've reviewed their, their standards for visiting and they're only allowing 500 people per day to come in. I would definitely recommend you buy that ticket online so you don't get disappointed if you're rejected, if you come here and there's already over 500 people here. What's great is it feels like we've got the whole museum to ourselves. It's super quiet here, there's not many people. We're in a section where there's lots of plants at the moment. Um, but yeah, again, buy your ticket online to save yourself from disappointment of arriving here and being rejected because uh, it's a bit of a drive from, from Bella Horizonte. So, how do you get here? The best way is by car, um, but I know that a lot of tourists, they don't actually have a car. So you can catch a bus from Belo Horizonte to the town of Inuching. And once you get to Inuching, you can catch a taxi from there to uh, Inuching, uh, the museum, which is a little bit out of, out of the town, maybe like a kilometer or two kilometers. Uh, but yeah, if you can get a car or find a friend in Belo Horizonte, but if you can't, you can take a bus to Inuching town. And, and as I said there, get a taxi from there to, to the Inuchim Museum. I've got a capuchinha, and apparently you can eat it. Oh, there's a cat. There's an ant on there. Ah. What? Are you serious? Everything. Everything. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste like? I don't know. It's really fresh. Eat it all. <laughs> Maybe. Can you feel something in your nose? <laughs> it's a bit sour, a bit yeah. spicy. Yes. It's really good for your eyes. It's a medicinal one. Mm. Medicinal plant. Delicious. So when you come to Nuchin, you're going to be exposed to three different types of things that you can see. You're going to see artworks, you're going to see galleries, and you're going to see botanical gardens. So give yourself like four or five hours to spend the day here because as I said it's over 140 hectares uh, and there's lots to do, lots of walking, 
and you can catch the, the buses if you, if you buy that uh, the, the purple ticket. So give yourself four or five hours or give yourself a whole day. As I said, you can see botanical gardens, artworks and galleries. be careful about is if you get the ticket to uh, take the bus around is the bus ends at five o'clock okay so don't find yourself caught out and having to walk back uh, so yeah the bus finishes at five o'clock one other thing to remember is there's plenty of bars and cafes here uh, but because of the pandemic lots of things are closed so it's always good to bring a packed lunch <laughs> we bought some apples we bought some uh, sandwiches from the supermarket and we bought some juice and they actually didn't check our bags so uh, I would definitely bring food in advance and then you can sit down have a picnic wherever you want just remember to put your rubbish in the bin oh it's a video <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so guys what do you think Picnic time! Woo -woo. Amazing. We're sitting here in the rain as we're eating <laughs> apples because they're heavy for the back. <laughs> Drinking juice. Yeah, let's have a look at the picnic. Yeah. Woo -woo. As I said, bring your own food because expensive. it's expensive and things are closed because of the pandemic. These trees remind me of like The Wizard of Oz or something like that. One of those weird movies. This tree is massive and as my dad would say, it would have a lot of stories to tell. And it's like, it's like four times the size of her. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Look at the lake to our right. It's just full of beautiful plants. Uh, I was going to say animals, but there's, we haven't really seen any animals yet. We've seen squirrels. Squirrels. And I guess Talus is a bit of an animal. So I actually recommend you actually spend the whole day here. Three or four hours is not enough. Arrive early and leave late. So it's just started to rain as you can probably hear the rain. So pro tip number one, it is the rainy season in Brazil. So <laughs> bring an umbrella or come prepared because like, as I said, it's an outdoor market and oh, it's an outdoor museum and there's, there's not much shelter. So, <laughs> but it's beautiful. Look at it. There's so much nature and so, much, so many different types of flowers, but bring an umbrella because if you come in the rainy season, it's going to rain. <laughs> And that's it from Inutium. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel to see all the videos I have made from Bolivia and Brazil. I'm actually moving to Rio de Janeiro in, in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to try and show you different places that are off the tourist track um, get to give you more of a, of, of a sense of what life's like there in Rio de Janeiro. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.